The two-minute message preview at the non-denominational New Hope is From Hopeless to Hopeful Part 2. One of the most popular books on the Christian bestseller list is The Prayer of Jabez. The book was written by Bruce Wilkerson and published in 2000. We know very little about Jabez, except that he was more honorable than his brothers and that his mother named him Jabez because she was in great pain at his birth. His name means pain. As for Jabez, he was well-intentioned, wealthy, and famous, he was a man of prayer. His prayer was straightforward and short, he only used 33 words, but his prayer got God's attention, and God granted him what he requested. The best honor that any man can have is to have a relationship with God, and Jabez did, and he has his prayer recorded in the Word of God because it is significant and instructive for us to know what he prayed. So, here is the question. Are you living the life God wants you to live? or are you just living life? God wants you to live a life of blessing. In the Old Testament, we discover Jabez, who moved beyond living a life of everyday blessing to abundant blessing. His name appears only three times in the Bible, in two verses, and in the long list of the genealogies, the who begat whose. Significantly, what Jabez is remembered for is not some outstanding achievement but a prayer. But out of all the people in this nine-chapter list of characters, he alone is lifted out because of the prayer that he prayed. It is significant that what Jabez is remembered for is not some outstanding achievement, but a prayer. He did not win a great battle or erect a great building. He simply prayed a prayer. He is like a shining star in this long list of anonymous characters. But out of all the people in this nine-chapter list of characters, he alone is lifted out because of the prayer that he prayed. In his weekend message, Pastor Dell will elaborate on Jabez's short prayer and the four things he prayed for. His prayer can become a model for us to use in our own prayer life.